How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to BeamNG Inside of Besiege. Today, we're going to be checking out mostly video game levels and creations that have been made inside of Besiege. And I'm sure you guys know there's lots of them, and uh, we usually check out one or two every week. But uh, yeah, this week, there's been a lot of brand new ones. Now, we've seen BeamNG Inside of Besiege before. There's actually a lot of BeamNG creations. We've never checked out the T-65 ramp truck though and on top of that we have the propane tank from beamng now that's a beamng mod actually so yes there's mods of beamng inside of besiege that sounds really weird to me anyways uh, i want to see if we can obviously destroy something with this but let's try and destroy this first uh by hitting that propane tank all right this truck is ridiculously fast i didn't realize i was going in slow motion already but i actually am and we're gonna see, oh, oh, it didn't actually explode. Oh, there we go, okay. So obviously I'm so used to how BeamNG reacts. Uh, basically right when you hit that, it destroys itself, but that one bounces around a little bit and that's actually really cool. Now this T-65, don't get me wrong, it's great. Uh, doesn't have too much in terms of detail inside of it though. So I want a little bit more of a complex car to see if we can actually explode this. All right, still my favorite realistic vehicle inside Besiege. Oh my god, that was not intentional. <laughs> okay, well, we did a little jump, but yeah, still my favorite vehicle both inside BeamNG and Besiege is the Gavril D. This thing is just ridiculously uh, detailed in terms of like it has an engine compartment and everything, so it should be really good at being destroyed. It looks like we've already damaged it a little bit going off of that jump, but that's totally fine as long as I can keep this thing straight. Actually, my steering... My steering is totally gone. I cannot steer it. What the heck happened? All right, well, let's try this again. This time, we didn't take it off the jump and destroy it before we even hit it. And let me try again. So, yeah, you really got to push this thing. Oh, my God. I literally had to push it into the engine compartment. But, uh, yeah, we finally actually got a good crash. Oh, my God. What was that? Was there a firework inside my engine compartment or something? Well, you're not gonna get a crash like that in BeamNG. The physics might be a little bit better in that game, but uh, the explosions, still MVP in Besiege. Well, this seems safe. Yes, we have a propane tank. God damn, this thing's heavy inside the back of my Gavril D. Now I'm gonna try and take this thing off the jumps over here. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, but we're in the BeamNG sandbox as well. So the original one. Uh, which is always fun. All right, I'm gonna try and do a flip here and see if we can maybe land on my hood or on my roof. That way, oh, no, not, not enough room to do a flip. Oh, man, this thing, I don't know what it's connected to, but it is stable, man. All right, thing is definitely weighing <laughs> down my truck. I don't even think we'll get off this thing, but we can maybe, there we go, flip it. Man, that is a stable, stable propane tank. So nothing like the BeamNG one. Basically, you can tap that one and it's going to explode. This one can uh, hold on for quite a while. As well as the uh, Gavril D. I mean, look at this thing. This is amazing. MVP right here. I don't think we're going fast enough to do this thing. Never mind. All right. I love the added fireworks. Those are definitely inside the Gavril D. All right, no idea how hard this is going to be to align this. I'm driving both of the vehicles at the same time, and Besiege doesn't like to go in a straight line very well. So there we go. First try. Ooh, a little bit of an explosion. I don't know if that ramp's going to actually lift up a vehicle. Oh, I'm going to slide right into it. Oh, man, that should have been a liftoff. So unfortunately, the physics in Besiege definitely are not as good as BeamNG, obviously, but still damn impressive. Let's see if we can, if I could just hit these guys head on, that'd be great. They are lined up perfectly, but with the wobble inside of Besiege, uh, things just bounce all over the place, especially that truck. You can see it bouncing right now. The good thing is it's not too hard to align, but still, if we could just hit it, I don't think A, it's fast enough, and B, this ramp has enough of an incline to actually lift up something. All right, well, that's fine. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, the ramp vehicle doesn't work exactly like BeamNG's. Still, really cool that we have so many BeamNG creations inside of Besiege. All right, and moving on to another creation. We're going away from BeamNG now, and actually we're moving over to anime. Uh, I know I said it mostly be video games today, but this is an anime-inspired creation that I had to show you guys because it is beautiful. I mean, look at it. This is called the Nakami BNX Acrobatic Motorplane, and it's inspired from the anime Bonin no Zamaru's Mado. 
Uh, I hope I said that somewhere near right. I know nothing about the anime besides the fact that it has a really cool trike in it, and this is it. Now, this thing is very high-tech in terms of Besiege. It has four mods just to make it fly, from what I understand. So, we're gonna start it up here. Oh, I already spawned it in, and see how good it truly is. So, I just want to get my controls right here. Looks like we're all good to go. Okay, that's that. Now, we have two cameras. We have a back camera, and we have, a, 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 a basically, a first-person camera. You can see there's a velocity and position indicator on this as well, which is really cool. You guys know I don't like my cameras, though, so we're gonna go out here. And let's start up those engines. Now, when we pull back on the gas... Oh my god, this is amazing. Okay, let's lift up. There is a lot of control. Well, not a lot of controls. It's just kind of confusing controls on this one, to be totally honest. But you can get the hang of it quite easily. And my god, this is, this is a trike, guys. But it feels like it's a fighter jet. And it kind of is. Oh, 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 almost hit it. Almost got it. Let's see if we can do a loop. Holy crap. Okay, I stalled it. I stalled it. We're going down. This is very acrobatic, as with the name. I'm not surprised now. Let's see if we can actually land this thing, though. So we're going to start it up again. The, the the lighting display on this is amazing. Oh, God, I forgot to boost it. Oh, okay, nailed it. All right, let's try that again for funsies. Let's also try first person. This actually might be a creation where you kind of need to be in first person, because, uh... Yeah, this thing is just so damn speedy. Oh my god. Like, look at it. It is just all over the place. I love it. I don't think I'm going to be able to land it in first person. I'm going to give it my best shot, though. Let's go down and kind of even it out. We obviously need to turn because of walls. Damn it. All right, let's just pretend that one didn't happen. So we're going to go again kind of over here. And I decided to use this camera this time. Now, this thing, as you can see, it likes to fall naturally. So we don't even need to pull it down. We're just going to... Try and turn it a little bit, and now that we're in an open area, we should... Actually, let's turn off the engine. Oh, 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 okay. Well, that was not per perfect, and that was definitely not pretty. Are we actually okay, though? I mean, a little bit of a rocky landing. I don't even think we damaged it, though. I think it's totally good. So, yeah, guys, this one is the Nakani BNX Acrobatic motor plane that is a hard one to say it's got a lot of unique terms oh god something happened something happened i don't know what happened but we crashed her and uh yeah that's it for that one jesus all right ladies and gentlemen in this next one i'm really excited about now unfortunately there's been a level made for this but it's crashing my game uh but this is just the start of i think a beautiful adventure inside besiege now i don't know if you've noticed but we have a portal gun on the front of this thing so if you know anything about portal i think you get the idea of what's going to happen here so this just came out uh this week so people are still designing things for it but uh does it not work over there okay so that must be a block that it doesn't work on if you remember in the real portal you can only do it on the white block, so I'm assuming we, we might have to just do it on the ground here. Now, we can aim this thing, so let's see if we can... I don't want to fall right into it right away, but yes, there we go. We have the orange portal. Now, where do we want to go, guys? Decisions. You know what? I wonder if we can... I don't think we can connect it to the block up there. Actually, that's as high as we can look as well, so let's see... Unfortunately, there's no maps made for the portal gun yet, so it's kind of hard to play with it. Um, without this. So, you, you know what? Let's just try something basic right now. So, we have the orange portal over there and the blue portal over here. And obviously, as portals should be, oh my god. We have portal and besiege! So, now I'm just trying to think of how we can utilize this right now when we don't really have much to play with. It's kind of a bummer that you can't put it on the rocks, it doesn't look like. So, let's try again, just in case. Yeah, you can see. Oh, is that what I actually, I was actually was hitting the other one. So it has to be on certain blocks. I have to figure out which ones allow it. It looks like just the ground for right now will allow it. So I wonder if there's a map that we can utilize. You know what would be perfect? The old school sandbox, but unfortunately, they got rid of that. And then I totally remembered this game has an awesome modding community, and uh, a few people actually have made the original <laughs> sandbox map inside uh the besiege modding so hopefully let's just try this i i spawned in the gavel d once again only because i know the controls don't overlap with this uh vehicle's controls and yes we can actually fly through that now can we put this on an angled block for example let's try this green here and see if we can like ramp up using the portal here so here we oh it doesn't work on angled blocks 
or it doesn't work on green blocks. So what if we try... Oh, man, I can't even get up here with this thing. It doesn't have enough grip. Come on, man, you can do it. I forgot how hard the, these inclines were in this game. There we go. We just made it up. Now, it definitely worked on the gray block, so it might work over here. Please tell me. Oh, and it just crashed the game. That was the problem I was having before, so it seems like angle blocks really screwed up. All right, so all we have to do is get crafty if we still want to have some fun with this thing. You got to remember, this thing just came out, so it probably still needs a little bit of work. Now, what I'm going to see is how far we need to go. All right, gavel D. I'll try and put it in the right area. We'll keep a mental note of where that was. And I'm playing Portal in Besiege. Let's just appreciate that for a second. This is absolutely crazy. So was somewhere around here. We're going to throw down a portal. So there we go. Don't fall into it. I wonder what happens if we fall into a portal that doesn't have anywhere to go. So we're going to fly out. You know what? Let's just throw a blue one kind of right here like that. Oh, God. Oh, the lag is so bad. Hold on. I'm trying to get out. Give me a second here. Okay. We're out of the way. Now it's time to see if we can make BeamNG go through a portal. This is so weird. This is like video gameception right now. There we go. Oh, I should have slowed it down. <laughs> I just totally broke the game. All right, let's try that again. And obviously, we're spawning in two creations right now. We're spawning in portals that are probably going to break the game. So we really got to slow down this game because this is just too much for Besiege right now, man. Oh, yeah. The moment I open those portals, it's just too much right now. It's probably not a good idea to be playing on this map, too. There's a lot of animations on this map, which seems to slow it down as well. But... Ah, uh, this is one with, with a drop-off that I know of, so that's what I really want to try. All right, here we go. We're going with the Garble D. What is going on? Uh, my back end is really low right now. I hope we're going fast enough. We are in slow motion, obviously, but... Oh, this might be good. We might hit the side of it, but that's totally fine as long as we get through. Oh, my God, this is amazing. Oh, unfortunately... We're so close. We definitely got through, as you can see, but we didn't get that perfect swish that made us go flying. All right. Oh, 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 slow it down. Slow it down. Oh, I forgot to slow it down. Of course, the moment it works is when I forget to slow it down. But God damn it, it worked. And that seems like a good amount of momentum for that little drop. So that... Oh, man. Portals in Besiege. I'm being blown away right now. Uh, this is so exciting because this adds a lot to this game. I mean, people can literally build portal levels now. And, uh, yeah, they actually work. Legs the game a little bit, but I think with some, some fine-tuning, this should work really, really well later on. All right, let's see if we can take out Peasant Village. Uh, we haven't touched this one in a long time here. This is uh, absolutely crazy. All right, here we go. Gavril D's coming down. Looks good. Oh, oh my god. It crashed a little bit into the portal, but we got it. That was the perfect explosion. And I'm so sorry, peasants. Oh god, I crashed my game again. God damn it, portals. Your amazingness is too much for this game right now. And to end off this episode, let's uh play with a kangaroo. I've never seen a kangaroo in this game, so let's see if it can actually... Oh my god. Holy crap, this actually... I mean, he's majestic. Look at him go. This is beautiful, too. I mean, the workings of this, obviously extremely impressive. So, yeah, I thought we'd end off with something a little bit different. A kangaroo, a jumping kangaroo. Can we climb a mountain with this? I, I feel like this is mountain climbable. Hold on. Let, let, let me turn this thing around. Because, man, he can get some serious air here. And he's actually very stable in the air. Obviously, he's got a balloon on top, I can see, so... Uh, does have some balancing going on, and my god, it's fast, too. <laughs> this is really impressive. I, uh, I need more kangaroos in my life, I think. Okay, here we go. The big test, though. Can we climb a mountain? Not really. No, not, not really. We are now a dead kangaroo. Hold on. Hold on. He's, he's giving it another shot. It's not looking good <laughs> for this guy. Come on. There you go. You just gotta push off. Oh, no. I, th I think this is pretty much it for it. Unfortunately, if it had better grippers on the bottom, you can see it does have grippers. But if they were a little bit better, I think it'd be really good. You could definitely do some parkour with this thing or something. And it's just fun having a jumping creation because there's not many inside Besiege. Anyways, guys, we're going to wrap up this one here. I was hoping to do a little bit more with the portal today, but uh, it does, does like to crash the game. Hopefully that will be worked on, and next week we can check out some more portal stuff if there is any out. And actually, there already is. I haven't showed you all of it. But yeah, awesome week for new things in Besiege. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.